Man, I have more rubber than a high school nurse's office. <laughs> this is insane. All right, let's uh, fix up these battle zone controls. Got to de-escalate everything now. Hell yeah, dude. That's awesome. If I wanted to fill in the rest of my territory, I could go for Brunei as well. And East Timor. See, this is the downside to having something like Singapore right next to you. Is it? It's a foot in the door. You know? Someone else can use it against you. Like I just used against them. Yeah. I should well, see I'll that consider happening. maybe taking East Timor and Brunei and Papua New Guinea, maybe. But for right now, it's going to be a lot of recovering. Because even though we killed 260 of their units, we lost 89. We lost a good amount of units to make this war happen. I definitely could have waited longer, another maybe two years, and it would have gone a lot better. But I got this two years earlier. My foot in the door, and now I can just go set everything up. You know, repair everything here. Is there any... Any, like, roads or rails that got destroyed? I don't think so. Man, the roads and rails here are actually very well developed. It's impressive. Let me scrap. They had some agriculture. I'm just going to scrap all of their agriculture. Whew, was that a good bit of content for you? A little oh, nail Oh, yeah. Huh? <laughs> that was back and forth there for a while. That was really good. Pretty dangerous. I can link my infrastructure up north with their infrastructure, too. The biggest problem with linking my infrastructure on Borneo now is Brunei. Brunei is my new problem with linking my infrastructure because they're in the way. Uh, I might take Brunei before anybody else. Even though I've become semi-good friends with them, I got a lot of treaties with them, I never got non-aggression. Yeah, it would hurt my treaty integrity, but I'm not declaring war in such a fast pace that my treaty integrity is having problems anyway. Renee wouldn't gain me a whole lot, except peace of mind that Borneo is completely secure from outside attack. Just completely. I don't think you would have to worry about it for right now, at least. Oh, definitely not. It's, it's safe up here. I'm actually going to get rid of this seep here in Kuching, I think. I don't think we need that there. And if I do end up taking Brunei, they have a seaport up by them. And right next to Kuching, I have a seaport in Sinkawang. Sinkawang. I got to get more friendly with Tajikistan. Kyrgyzstan, I'm fully friends with now. Uh, their civilian rating is not so good. Sure, my my civilian relationship with everyone I was working on has been hurt without a doubt. My relations just around the world. When you invade, everyone just starts hating you a little more. Especially the closer they are to you. Like Russia's back down to hostile with me after that invasion. Oh, great. <laughs> but their overall relation change is not that bad. What? That's my first invasion in a total of like four, almost five years of playing? I think that's okay. I'll tell you what, though. Now that I've taken Malaysia, I kind of just want Singapore not to exist, but I'm not going to break my alliance to actually stop them from existing. Because that would do more damage than it would help me. It wouldn't help me, frankly, that much. Singapore is a nice place to have. But it wouldn't be that nice. It'd be worth doing all of that shit. <laughs> Alright, I gotta rearrange my... Let's see here, my funding's here. I gotta go through and see who I'm still funding, who I'm not. Iraq, not funding you. And we have a seaport in Kuatan as well. Okay, so we have a seaport on each side. East and west. I'm pretty well connected across okay. the jungle. Qatar, um, 
Have any support to? How about a month? Things like consumer goods and all these other goods factories that are placed in other things that you take over, these are also penalized as well. But it's not always worth, in the long run, it's worth it to tear them down and build them somewhere a little more convenient for your production. But in the short term, it just expends a lot of resources that you don't necessarily want to expend. Only you really need to optimize at some point. Does that ever really become worth it? I think your domestics are still currently way better than mine, though. Yeah, way better. <laughs> For some reason, you have a... Maybe it's because your literacy is so low. Maybe your population's so stupid that they just sit around and talk all day. <laughs> That's what I pay them to do. Yeah? I, I, you don't need to read. Just, you know, just reproduce. That's all I need. Reproduce and go to work. Yep. <laughs> all I need you for. Boy, there's still so many small little cities down here that are not connected to anything. Cities don't need to be connected, by the way. Cities are usually good places to connect because they produce their own supply. More and more, the bigger they get. Well, they're connected now, so... <laughs> oh my god, the amount of industry goods I need to repair all of this is insane. How many do you need? I'm using, like, 60,000 plus a day. Oh, shit. The Saudis just gave me a good price on some, luckily. Oh, it's disgusting. Once it's repaired, like, when everything gets repaired, they'll stop taking the goods to do this. Uh, let me tell you, though, this is worth it in the long run. Oh, my God, that just ate, like, all my money. Jesus, fuck. <laughs> Might need to take out more debt. The UAE sending me money? Oh, thanks, guys. And Central Africa and Malawi formed an alliance. Those damn Africans. I don't know, they may get the African Union together. You know what's so funny? In real life, technically speaking, just about all of Africa is allied militarily in the African Union. And yet, none of them act like allies. They go to war all the time. <laughs> it's not war. It's, uh, it's peacekeeping. Internal dispute. <laughs> They're keeping this the peace by killing everyone. Over here. <laughs> like, hey, for us, it's politics. It's like you're committing genocide politics. <laughs> yeah, still indifferent. All right, I'll just switch to giving uh, the tar some free food. Be a little bit till all my diplomatic relations recover from that. Oh boy. My allies got a little bothered by that too. So upsetty. Yeah, well. But I grow stronger. They can be all upsetty, but in the end, it's going to be for their benefit. their benefit of what getting absorbed by muslim superpowers yeah exactly it's a win-win wonderful oh yeah europe doesn't really like me anymore <laughs> they'll probably never like me again the further this goes on to be honest it's okay russia's back up to cold with me so it's improving
Yeah, so let's just worry about keeping Russia happy. <laughs> Specifically Russia and Russia's <laughs> allies and anyone in the Middle East we want to be friends with. I don't know what we'll, uh, what we'll do when we conquer our nearest neighbors and then want to do something else. Like, if we go through our allies and just make this weird hole in our, like, gap in our countries, or if we just turn on allies, I don't know, but... Or, you know, we just jump into Africa, for example. Like, you could conquer your way through Africa. That'll work. You have other options, though, of course. Have you picked a next invasion target, or are you just kind of minding your own business right now? No, it's definitely going to be Sri Lanka. Oh, really? Yeah. Not Maldives first? Well, Maldives first. I would. Well, I wouldn't really consider that an invasion necessarily. Oh, eh, well, it's still a I war guess. target. It'll, yeah. It'll be a little bit of a war. It'll be neat. It'll hurt your fucking treaty integrity and diplomatic relations all the same. <laughs> okay, then. Maldives, yeah. That'll be next, and then after that, Singapore. Ah, the real big problem with Sri Lanka is just the fact that they only have one port. Yeah, my neighbor will take care of that. It's on a military complex with a barracks. Meaning the moment you declare war, they're just going to be able to deploy shit out of it and make things difficult. You have to somehow snipe it for the best results. And if you do snipe it, you're probably sniping their entire military. Well, most of it. They have an air base. Ooh. They have an air base up north. Interesting. Well, I wish you luck with that invasion. Thank you. That'll be a unique... A unique thing. It'll be nice. It'll be a it'll fight. Kind of it'll be a good fight. Countries. Yeah. Well, that's what my navy's gonna come into play for. One of them. Get them close. Let them declare war. And then let my naval bombardment take it. And kind of, kind of like a D-Day kind of scenario here. Bombard the shit out of them with my capital ships. Clear the way. The thing is, then... it's not. It's your biggest opportunity to win the war is the moment you hit declare war by landing a giant force on that port or somewhere on the island to get a source of supplies and like even a barracks maybe so that you can take it over before the garrisons kick in because the garrisons are going to be the annoyance right well we'll see when it happens yeah I could set up an air base. I can launch strategic bombers from there too. Yeah. The Maldivas. Well, there's already an airfield. Airfield oh, yeah. superior. Okay. You're gonna want to upgrade both, both yeah. of those. To upgrade it, do you just like actually upgrade it, or do you mean like no, you okay, gotta remove delete it the one and then there yeah, and delete it one. and then make a new one? Yeah. You can make a new one and then delete it. Because you can have a sea pier and a sea port in the same spot. There's no point to doing that, but you can. It allows you to build the sea base while you, uh, you still have the sea uh, pier. I still don't know who the hell's buying my rubber. Because there's no gigantic rubber buyer. Anyone that uses a fuck ton of rubber is producing enough by synthesizing it. There's a lot of small countries that buy small amounts, and maybe that's adding up. But I don't think so. Could be the case, but I don't know who's buying all of this fucking rubber because this is an excessive amount of rubber that I have here. Oh man, my inflation's up to six point six. Holy crap, that's a booming economy, and that's with my tourism gone down a little. It didn't go down that much actually. It's at fifty three. It's at forty nine. Interesting. I'm about to get a formal alliance with Qatar. Oh, what the fuck? Jesus Christ, man! Look at you. That one's going to take me a bit longer. I'll go ahead and start supporting them now. Uh, they have cold relations with me right now, so that's going to take me a bit. Now I'll work on Bahrain. Okay, 
there and all these little nation alliances. It'll it'll come in handy when Israel attacks. Or when we attack Israel. I'm thinking the latter. <laughs> <laughs> You know what I love? The question that is... I noticed, uh, is... We oh. never set an end goal for this playthrough. We hardly even set a goal. To begin with, yeah. <laughs> we set, hey, let's pick some Muslim nations and see what we can do. That's what see we what do. happens, yeah. That's the goal. Yeah, That's see, the goal. <laughs> see what happens. See what we can turn it into. There's no goal. Like, when me and Demma did each of our playthroughs like the the one that didn't go very far because we had a weird setup that i didn't like uh where we were the u.s and japan the idea was to make our own sphere you know the u.s and japan like a pacific alliance and we conquer the rest of the pacific you know move on and conquer the world yeah that was a good idea a neat plan um with the Cold War, it was Soviet Union and China, we wanted to defeat NATO. Pretty straightforward. What are, what the fuck are we doing? <laughs> We're just trying to survive this little world and turn into something great. There's no end goal here, you know? Well, here. Maybe the end goal should be like you initially said. Start off, well, we're literally kind of like creating our own sphere, and then Screw it, let's try, let's try and go for global domination. Like as far as we can get one to the light, yeah. Out. Or before we get destroyed, one of the two. Yeah, basically. And this game doesn't have as much buggy problems as GPS, but that last playthrough of mine still got a bug. Pretty exclusive to multiplayer, I guess. The save game got fucked with like this time bug where the time just slowed down a whole bunch. And it was slowing down more and more every year. I'm, I feel like that would happen again, quite frankly. With how much research and how much more military production I have, I know I need to pay some more attention to my economy. Oh boy, I need to cut spending a little bit. My inflation's skyrocketing right now. Yeah, let's take a look at it. What is it? 9.9, that unemployment's getting scary low. Yeah, you yeah. might want to be careful yeah. if you're building a whole lot of <laughs> shit. What did you do? What are you on right now? Like, what are you doing? Building power plants, mainly. How many? Eight. Eight? Eight nuclear ones? No. No, not all okay. nuclear. No. I was going to say, uh, oh god. I got six building on hydro. I got three paused. And then I think two oh. nuclear. Okay. Let me uh, now that down to in construction. So you have one, two, three, four. Four hydros that are actively building. I can see you have a lot of them paused. Holy crap. You have one... Two, three, four, hydro, and a nuclear. Yeah, that's a lot of, uh, that's a lot of industry goods. Um, oh, I could get a mutual defense and non-aggression with Tajikistan. I don't uh, like me very much, and I'm already working. I'm working on uh, Kyrgyzstan and then Kuwait and Qatar, so I'm gonna leave it at that for now. Okay, I think I got my economy under control now a little bit. Inflation's going down, unemployment's going a little bit back up. And your money's doing a lot better. That too. Uh, my inflation is going down, even though I started 
constructing eight more hydro plants kind of impressive yeah my inflation is down to 8.7 now so it's it's uh, it's stabilizing as long as it i mean it's it's in a good spot so long as it's not you know excessive due to uh like your unemployment getting below three or even hitting three yeah. And you're good. Right now it's at 3.5. Oh, good. My power hydros will be done in 14 more days. I'm going to just make a full fucking city's worth. Of industrial goods factories over on Borneo now. Just to raise that production. Not that I need it raised, but it will help me keep expanding. And so long as my economy can handle it, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna fucking do it. Come on, sell some consumer goods, damn it. Let's see, who the hell can I sell some shit to that will actually take it? What are you trying to sell? I have some industry goods. Oh, yes, oh, my dude. research center finally fucking finished. <laughs> the industry goods market is flooded. There, Nobody wants it. Well, I'll just be trading with the importers then. What do you want, Germany, Uranium? I think I just sold three billion worth of consumer goods to Russia. Oh, sweet, my capital design ship is done too. Good, now I can build battleships at least. Alright, I gotta get some, like you, I gotta get some more non-tradable tech researched. Yeah. Yeah. Give me the <laughs> yeah, no, it counts it in, uran in, uh, in kilograms. Yeah, so you gave me enough uranium for half of a Kirov. So regardless, I'm going to have to start buying. You see what I mean by there's going to be a market for it really soon? Yeah, I see what you meant. Because as I build through this Kirov, I'm eventually going to have to start buying it. This is just the first Kirov. I'm going to need a fucking navy with ships like this. And nobody's really producing a whole lot of uranium. The U.S. alone is consuming about the amount that the highest producer. Actually, no. The U.S. is producing so much they're not even importing enough. Ooh, yeah, dude. There's a market out there for uranium. And it's about to be our problem. Wait, but I, I should have access to uranium now, right? I do, in Malaysia. Yeah. That's what I was oh, going to say. Dude. Didn't you just, yeah, like take it over and you have you can build mines on it now to produce your own oh yeah i forgot that they that they had this how much does each mine build Three hundred thousand max output and but that's not as much as i'll get because of the loyalty bonus or debuff i'd need probably four mines three or four mines no four four or five mines actually for one Kira. <laughs> okay, well. Yeah, you better get started. This is insane. I find it hard to believe that the that this screen's counting in the kilograms, but I guess it is. Alright, let's get the uranium mines flowing, man. We're gonna need a whole fucking bunch of it. I'll become the uranium seller, I really don't care. I don't have that much uranium though, so I'm not I'm not gonna do that. 
kind of another reason. Build 80 days, so it's like building new rubber. Kind of another reason why I took over Afghanistan. They, they have, have a nice uranium? big plot of it, yep. Yeah, they do, holy shit. Nobody else around me really has it except Australia. And invading Australia would open a whole different bucket of worms. So yeah, even though I have some mines, one. eventually I am going to end up on the market for it. That's for, that's just a fact. Right, let me get one of my hydro mines building off pause. Africa, South Africa has a good amount of uh, uranium. Madagascar. But definitely Australia. Australia would be a uranium miner's dream. How's Iran looking towards me right now? Same. Like Saudi Arabia, just indifferent. I can't believe rubber is still an opportunity good. How? Who's fucking South? Why He's South Korea is buying a lot? <laughs> You're buying a lot. <laughs> oh shit. My production of it just fucking like turned off because nobody's like there wasn't demand for a day. Maybe I don't need to build more rubber right now. <laughs> Maybe oh. you don't. <laughs> Maybe I don't. Maybe I have enough rubber finally. Because my yeah. minister just turned it off for a day. Just because there you was focus on uranium. <laughs> Why don't I? <laughs> The little bit that I have. I could focus on other things like oil as well. But the next day, there was a market for it. <laughs> there wasn't a market for it because South Korea stopped buying it. It's like, nope, don't want it. Okay, everybody shut it down. South Korea said no. <laughs> Agriculture is getting unprofitable again. It's like oh going boy. between profitable and unprofitable, so it's a little back and forth. I think I might actually need to spruce up my agriculture a little bit. I am actually running back out of deficit now. I'm not. I'm just getting enough from the natural agriculture in my country. Same with timber. I don't need to build any mills or anything. Oh, and I had built one already. Where the fuck did I put the damn thing at? I keep buying industry goods from Saudi Arabia because they're offering me at a price, and Singapore, because they keep both offering me the industry goods at a price that it's cheaper than actually making them. Whole set of eight hydro plants are finishing there, that's nice. Yeah, I just took a few more of my hydro plants off pause. Actually, just one of them. <laughs> <laughs> 